Phenylalanine is a calcium channel blocker used to treat hypertension. It is recommended that it be used for as short a period as possible and at a low dose. In this video, let's find found. What is phenylalanine? What is phenylalanine used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking phenylalanine? How does phenylalanine work? How to use phenylalanine? What is phenylalanine? Phenylalanine is a medication of the calcium channel blocker type that is used to treat high blood pressure. It was patented in 1978 and approved for medical use in 1988. What is phenylalanine used for? For the treatment of mild to moderate essential hypertension. Contraindication The absolute contraindication of phenylalanine use includes hypersensitivity to phenylalanine or excipients. The relative contraindications for the use of phenylalanine include liver failure. Patients with liver failure cannot metabolize phenylalanine, resulting in elevated plasma concentration of the medication. Side effects These common side effects of phenylalanine Headaches Make sure you rest and drink plenty of fluids. Feeling dizzy. If phenylalanine makes you feel dizzy, stop what you're doing and sit or lie down until you feel better. Flushing. Try cutting down on coffee, tea, and alcohol. Swollen ankles. Raise your legs while you're sitting down. Pharmacodynamic. Phenylalanine belongs to the dihydropyridine, DHP class of calcium channel blockers, CCBs, the most widely used class of CCBs. There are at least five different types of calcium channels in Homo sapiens, L-N-P-Q-R and T-type. It was widely accepted that CCBs target L-type calcium channels, the major channel in muscle cells that mediates contraction, however, some studies have shown that phenylalanine also binds to and inhibits T-type calcium channels. T-type calcium channels are most commonly found on neurons, cells with pacemaker activity, and on osteocytes. The pharmacologic significance of T-type calcium channel blockade is unknown. Phenylalanine also binds to calmodulin and inhibits calmodulin-dependent calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The effect of this interaction appears to be minor. Another study demonstrated that phenylalanine attenuates the activity of calmodulin-dependent cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase, CAMPDE, by binding to the PDE1B1 and PDE1A2 enzyme subunits. CAMPDE is one of the key enzymes involved in cyclic nucleotides and calcium second messenger systems. Phenylalanine also acts as an antagonist to the mineral corticoid receptor by competing with aldosterone for binding and blocking aldosterone-induced coactivator recruitment of the mineral corticoid receptor. Phenylalanine is able to bind to skeletal and cardiac muscle isoforms of tropinin C, one of the key regulatory proteins in muscle contraction. Binding to many endogenous molecules, its vasodilatory effects are still thought to be brought about primarily through inhibition of voltage-gated L-type calcium channels. Similar to other DHP CCBs, phenylalanine binds directly to inactive calcium channels, stabilizing their inactive conformation. Since arterial smooth muscle depolarizations are longer in duration than cardiac muscle depolarizations, inactive channels are more prevalent in smooth muscle cells. Alternative splicing of the alpha-1 subunit of the channel gives phenylalanine additional arterial selectivity. At therapeutic subtoxic concentrations, phenylalanine has little effect on cardiac myocytes and conduction cells. Mechanism of action Phenylalanine decreases arterial smooth muscle contractility and subsequent vasoconstriction by inhibiting the influx of calcium ions through voltage-gated L-type calcium channels. It reversibly competes against nitrendipine and other DHP CCBs for DHP binding sites in vascular smooth muscle and cultured rabbit atrial cells. Calcium ions entering the cell through these channels bind to calmodulin. Calcium bound calmodulin then binds to and activates myosin light chain kinase MLCK. Activated MLCK catalyzes the phosphorylation of the regulatory light chain subunit of myosin, 
a key step in muscle contraction. Signal amplification is achieved by calcium-induced calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum through ryanodyne receptors. Inhibition of the initial influx of calcium decreases the contractile activity of arterial smooth muscle cells and results in vasodilation. The vasodilatory effects of felodipine result in an overall decrease in blood pressure. Felodipine may be used to treat mild to moderate essential hypertension. Half-life 17.5 to 31.5 hours in hypertensive patients 19.1 to 35.9 hours in elderly hypertensive patients, 8.5 to 19.7 in healthy volunteers. Dose. The dose of this medicine will be different for different patients. Hypertension. Initial 2.5 to 5 mg POQD. Maint. 2.5 to 10 mg POQD. Some recommend up to 20 mg per day. Hepatic impairment. Initial, 2.5 mg POQD. Safety advice. US FDA pregnancy category C. Animal reproduction studies have shown an adverse effect on the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in humans, but potential benefits may warrant use of the drug in pregnant women despite potential risks. That's all the information about felodipine we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.